our school, Notre Dame of Law for Girls Grade School Department, with the mission of providing quality education to every learner, not only for their academic growth, but also for their social and emotional development, has compiled tips and suggestions for holding virtual moving up ceremony to honor this year's class while ensuring the health and safety of the school community. I am Ms. Norhafiza A. Dambang and will be one of your MCs for this virtual ceremony. We do believe that today's event is indeed a time of completion. However, it is also a time of celebration of achievement and most importantly, a beginning for the new graduate. It is not then a single point along the continuum of life. Instead, it is a series of continuing steps where additional education and life experiences culminate in a life driven by a self-sacrificing desire to contribute to the well-being of those people who are around them. I am Mr. June S. Andal, one of the MCs for this year's virtual graduation ceremony. It also provides an opportunity to recognize our understanding faculty and staff who are dedicated in providing the highest quality education and in making a positive difference in the lives of our students. The presentation and entrance of the colors. <laughs> To formally start with today's culmination, ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome the administration, faculty, staff, and the graduating students of Class 2021 of Notre Dame of Upper Girls Grade School Department.
for the invocation, may I call on Mr. Magdar Sajaani for the Muslim prayer and Ms. Shelly Markel Besa for Catholic's prayer to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وقال ربكم ادعوني أستجب لكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا آتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف الميعاد برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار وكنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Heavenly Father we ask for your almighty hand to be upon all our graduates today. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help them to put knowledge, skills, and insights gained through their education to use for the good of all mankind. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life even when faced with challenges and difficulties. May they grow ever more grateful and wise as they begin another step of their lives. Help them to fulfill their dreams, use their gifts wisely, and walk into the future with faith, hope, and love. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. And for the welcome address, let us have here Muhammad Arkin A. Asda. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bishop Charlie M. Inzon, OMIDD, Apostolic Vicar of Apostolic Vicarate of Sulu and Tawi-Tawi. Brother Mark Robert R. Lorea, FMS. Superintendent of Notre Dame Schools Apostolic Vicarate of Holo. Sister Cleopatra M. Moreno O.P., School Director Principal of the Notre Dame of Law for Girls, Sister Susana B. Habonete O.P., Assistant Principal, Sister Nancy Jimenez O.P., School Treasurer, 
subject area heads, faculty and staff of the Notre Dame of Law for Girls, our dear parents, fellow graduates, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh and a pleasant good morning to one and all. In this moment of celebration, I take a great honor and pleasure to heartily welcome you all to the virtual graduation ceremony of Notre Dame of Law for Girls Grade School Department for school year 2020-2021. This, this joyful event marks our dedication and success as effective learners after all the hardship we experienced during the year. It brings us a mixture of joy and pain. Joy from reaching our goals and pain from saying goodbye to the people who became a part of our lives. It is a bittersweet to leave our alma mater but beautiful memories will always remain. The five years of coming to school early and this school year being the last but the most memorable one due to the COVID-19 pandemic have slowly made us into a better individuals. More learned, more knowledgeable, more mentally and emotionally developed with the guidance and teachings of our advisors and subject teachers. Individually, our experiences here are unique, but we strived and fought hard in order to come into this meaningful event. The pandemic has stressed all of us in every aspect of our daily lives, but together we all faced it with courage and resilience, and I am very grateful for that strength. But of course, without the support of our parents, teachers, and school administrators, we may, we may not have made it to this day. Classmates, fellow graduates, this is a day of celebration and victory, of commemorating how we labored through and enjoyed our younger years. It marks the culmination of several years of our hard work, of days of studying hard and learning our lessons Yet, let us not forget that even if we find ourselves in trying situations, we did enjoy many times and many moments in this school. It has been and will always be a part of our growing up years. Through the help and guidance of our parents and teachers, and the nurturing atmosphere of our alma mater, finally, we have reached our initial goal. As we come to the end of this very unique and challenging school year, I wish everyone good luck for the coming years in our lives. May the years to come be kind to all of us, and may God and His wisdom bless us with success. Be reminded that the main objective is to not give up on our dreams, to not believe that failure is permanent, or that there is a finish line to success. Once again, it is my privilege to welcome everyone to another milestone of Notre Dame of Law for Girls Grade School Department. Congratulations, graduates. Wassalam. For the presentation of the graduates by Sister Cleopatra M. Moreno O.P., Notre Dame of Law for Girls School Director Principal. May I present to you the graduates of grade school. By virtue of the power vested upon me by the Board of Trustees of the Apostolic Vicariate of the Law, I, Sister Cleopatra M. Moreno Opi, Director Principal of the Notre Dame of the Law for Girls, have the honor to present to you 50 girls and 57 boys as candidates for graduation from the grade school department. This school year 2020-2021, after they have satisfactorily completed the course requirements prescribed by the Ministry of Basic, Higher and Technical Education, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, 
Holo Sulu, Philippines. For the proclamation of the graduates, let us have the superintendent or representative from Ministry of Basic Higher and Technical Education. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. The good parents of Nuruddin Pogers. Uh, after presentation of the principal, Mr. Cleopat uh, Cleopatra Murino, that there are 107 candidates for graduation this school year 2020 2021. Uh, that after having been completed the basic requirements for basic education under the K 12 curriculum that this candidate progress has completed the basic requirements for the said uh, curriculum. And in my capacity as a school division of in the division of Zulu, I hereby confirm uh, 107 graduates, 57 girls, and 50 boys. My congratulations and wabadu assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Asda Muhammad Arkane A. Badiri Nur Hakim Y. Dalu Sharifahad M. Fernando Ahmed Arkam L. Jaji Faisal II A. Johan Ahmed Zar A. Lim Rava Al Husini S. Majani Ahmad Rais I. Miswari Abdul Makama N. Omar Ahmed Rashid A. Sahari Sami Yusuf J. Sangogot Kadin Wazir A. Sapal Muhammad Abu Bakir H. Sapayani Muhammad Shah A. Taog Jabril A. Pinkahan Ben Haidar A. Tulawi Jan Raizam N. Abdurasad Jana S. Biting Fatima Kemraifa H. Buklaw Ainun Nadia B. Haber Shernaida S. Hajula Norsinin A. Hayudini Mawashada L. Ismi Norwida J. Jajalis Raihana N. Mukhtar Vianalin A. Maki Yusra M. Ugaya Jaida S. Sabdani Shina O. Said Nadia I. Sali Maria Micaela K. Sawadjaan Sharifa Ramada M. Shamma Sara Ayesha M. Tahir Nadzifa A. Unding Nerfa A. Unduk Almira J. Utuanis Sherazan A. Inawat Norshina D. Ambri Idilkan U. Bentoko Jacob T. Galvez Jerick Erwin C. Hashim Ahmed Ridskan H. Hayudini Ahmed Jaden H. 
Hernandez Justin Jake P. Ibrahim Kaimer S. Ismula Al Nazrif S. Jakiran Jazim A. Limpalan Zishan Raiz A. Maldisa Idraouf M. Maulurana Ayrashin B. Miranda Raf C. Muhammad Abdul Hakim A. Muallif Abdul Nafi A. Muksan Noryad Smer J. Salapuddin Fauzan S. Sampang Amil Yusef A. Tulawi Garman B. Usman Abdel Hafiz A. Abu Bakar Aya K. Abu Hasim Wenad S. Almansar Fatima Zahana M. Amak Fatima Uraniza May R. Atiula Jarmila H. Dugasan Fatima Ainamarl M. Bara Fatima Zarweda Ashley K. Gulam Fatima Nashreen U. Ibrahim Nuridilia S. Sadarani Amira P. Sakib Moira Monira Z. Salim Sharian C. Samsi Afra J. Taulani Jumaika S. Butuanis Amira Galea P. Abdu Janyuan L. Ahiyal Alfaruz A. Ali Alridwan S. Asmada Melhan H. Benlot Quizmar B. Daim Salif Raihan S. Hashim Dasani J. Hayudini Khalid A. Iba Junior Jibin S. Jajalis Ahmed Shahin N. Jo Omar Khalid A. Kulani Zakir Naik A. Lajahasan Amir Bahar B. Padinga Junior Mario C. Saupi Alben Khair A. An Raed Fatin A. Tibli Gerard Ayel M. Villanueva Kevin A. Wilnor Nordimar H. Yusuf Al-Karuvi A. Abdurajar Jelaida D. Adin Princess Daniela J. Hyver Sharifa Rian J. Hassan Fatima Ilham A. Hassan Fadzria H. Hayudini Amina J. Jakaria Medzdalia S. Jo Fatima Alaysa A. Julbari 
Kelly Alexa Miel S Miswara Marwa A Rasul Fatima Jada A Sabiran Kuzaima Dania M Sanaani Glendehar D Sanhaji Shalame U Dear graduates of Notre Dame of Holo for Girls, BATS 2021, Your most anticipated come of the year has come. With joy and pride, I am with one with you in thanking God for His countless gifts throughout your stay at Notre Dame of Holo for Girls. Let us express our gratitude to God for the gift of knowledge from your administrators and teachers the gift of friendship from your fellow students and peers, the gift of unconditional love and support from your family and loved ones, and finally the gift of fortitude from each academic hurdle you endured specially during this pandemic. Years will pass and you may no longer remember the lessons from each class you attended, but may I ask you to keep alive your institutional core values of being God-centered, servant leader, truth seeker, and community builder. We, your administrators and teachers and staff, are excited for your success as you move to another stage in your student's life. It is really it's a reality that many challenges lie ahead of you as COVID pandemic may continue to disrupt your normal lives and educational practices. However, remain resilient, be equipped with a passion for learning while staying grounded in the values which have been inculcated in you in your prestige, by your prestigious school and keep good memories in your high school days you have in your high school days they will add life and joy to your new life as students to parents guardians loved ones and friends of our graduates i thank you for entrusting your beloved graduates to not today mobile of our girls please accept my warmest congratulations and best wishes for they are now ready to take on bigger roles in the academy. Dear graduates, thank you for making Not Today Mabolo for Girls your home throughout your elementary and junior high school. May you become learners with the aim of becoming peacemakers and agents of positive social transformation as you go beyond the confines of your alma mater. I pray that the seed of knowledge, faith, and compassion blossom in you and propel you towards success in your next stage in your academic life. Once again, congratulations. May God bless you all. Assalamu alaikum. A pleasant day to all of you. John Maxwell said, and I quote, History has proven that people are successful not because of brilliance, but because of persistence and desire. First and foremost, I would like to recognize and congratulate the outstanding graduates for completing their junior high school academic program. Your journeys have been hampered by daunting obstacles particularly in the past 13 months. The effects of the COVID-19 pandemic have been greater than many expected. Lectures involving a blackboard, chalk, and books have been part of school's teaching and learning for over a century, and it shifted 360 degree to distance or blended learning modalities in a very short span of time. Some students 
are struggling to pay for their school fees and the day-to-day -day expenses because their sources of income have diminished. In fact, it has become increasingly difficult for some students to finish the academic year. And yet, here you are, graduating from Notre Dame of Holo for Girls. It is your resiliency, creativity, and your unwavering determination that has brought you here today. And I want you to take pride of that. Today's celebration is the result of your great efforts, but also the invaluable support offered by your families, guardians, and friends. And so to the families, friends, and loved ones who have tirelessly offered their comfort and support, thank you on behalf of the Notre Dame Schools community for entrusting these individuals to our care and for everything you have done to make this day possible. I am confident that these individuals will continue to create significant impact whatever path they choose from here. Completers, I encourage you to embrace any challenges that may come your way. I encourage you to become creators of a better future. Finally, I want to reiterate that your safety and the safety of your loved ones is of the utmost importance. While keeping that foremost in our thoughts, we can continue to work together, remain determined and resilient, and move towards a better tomorrow as Notre Dameian. Completers of 2020-2021 of Notre Dame of Holo for Girls, congratulations and may God bless you all. To our dear graduates of school year 2020-21, a warmest congratulations to you for you made a difference. Pandemic is still hovering over the world, yet you have run the race and reached the finish line. You did not allow COVID-19 to stop you, though you are harvesting the fruits of your labor. You have encountered the most trying times in your life. You did not choose nor welcome the pandemic, but you believe yourself that the new normal challenge is worth trying for. The U.S. President John F. Kennedy said that every accomplishment starts with a decision to try. I love to share with you, dear graduates, a story. I tell you, I never forget the story. And I told it many times to my students, young and adults. Are you interested to listen? Okay, sit back and relax the title is the wise old man the young boy and the little sparrow that is posted by anthony sarah december 13 2015 the sarah the story must have been posted over the years and told in many times as i do today in a small village, there lived a wise old man to whom everyone turned for guidance and advice. One day, a young boy decided he would confront the old man with a question that he knew the old man would not be able to answer correctly. His plan was to find a little bird and hold it cupped in his hands, hidden from sight. He would then approach the wise old man and ask him to guess what he had buried in his hands. If the old man answered it correctly, he would then ask him whether the bird is alive or dead. If the old man said the bird was alive, the boy would crush the bird with his hands and kill it, thereby proving the old man wrong. But 
If the open said it was dead, the boy would open his hands and let the bird fly free, demonstrating at last that the old man was not as wise as everyone thought him to be. So the boy ventured out and found a little sparrow that fit neatly within his hands. As he approached the old man, the boy said, Wise old man, can you tell what I have in my hands? Why, of course I can, the old man responded without hesitation. From all the small feathers cling to your jackets and pants, it is plain to see it is little bird that you have cradled in your hands. Ah, that is so, the young boy exclaimed. But is the bird alive or dead? The old man paused for a moment, then rubbed his chin in contemplation of her response. Looking the young boy in the eyes, the old man replied in a soft tone, whether the bird is alive or dead is in your hands, my child. The choice is yours. My dear graduates, that is my message to you. Your life is in your hand. You can make it alive or dead. For education cannot be neutral. As Pope Francis said, you can make it successful or failure. You can enrich it or impoverish it. You can plant it or uproot it. The choice is yours. Life is what you make it. Our dear young graduates, early at this stage of life, you will see that life is not a bed of roses, meaning that not all times we have happy memories. It is a mixture of joys and sorrows. It is always part of your life whether you like it or not. In the new normal, hard work is what you need to be successful. So, study with high motivation to run to the finish line. Welcome with open arms the challenges of the new normal generation. Successfully accepted the pandemic as you are now celebrating this above normal, the virtual graduation ceremony. To our beloved parents and school personnel, you are gifts from God. Your time, talents, and supports shared are like gold so precious to receive. To our Almighty God, we are very grateful to you for your unending love and care for the graduates of school year 2020-2021 whom you entrusted to our care. Once again, the life is in your hand. The choice is yours. Take good care of it and let it grow in peace and harmony with God's love. Graduates of SY 2020-21, a big virtual group hug to all of you. A heartfelt congratulations. The choice is yours.
filled with joy because you're there for me. You kiss my fears away. You wipe those tears. You give me strength each day. I thank you for the glow and thank you for the joy and thank. With your love shining true Thank you for everything you do I'm blowing inside because of you Who knows what tomorrow brings My glowing wings can make me fly To give us the words of gratitude, let us have Ms. Nazifa Tahir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. And a wondrous day to everyone. Indeed, this virtual commencement exercise is unprecedented and among the firsts of our prominent school. I presume that no one anticipated concluding our six years in elementary virtually until the outbreak. Yet, here we are, celebrating our success at a distance. Regardless, Alhamdulillah ala kullihan. I may not look onto everyone's blissful faces in this setup, but I am certain that our happiness emanates to the corner of our houses and even to our neighborhood. Bishop Charlie M. Inzon, OMIDD, Vicar of Apostolic Vicariate of Sulu and Tawi-Tawi, Brother Mark Robert R. Loria, FMS, Superintendent of Apostolic Vicariate of Holo, Sister Cleopatra M. Moreno OP, School Head Principal of the Notre Dame of a Law for Girls, Sister Susana B. Habonete OP, Assistant Principal of the Notre Dame of a Law for Girls, Sister Nancy Jimenez OP, School Treasurer, Department Heads, Faculty and Staff, Ever Loving Parents, Fellow Graduates, Friends, and to everyone who generously spared some, some of their time to be with us in commemorating this momentous event. On behalf of the batch 2021, I want to extend our utmost and sincere gratitude to all of you. Thank you very much. This is absolutely a tear-jerking moment because at this point, our journey as grade school students come to an end and we are about to sail into a new path. Hearkening back to the good old days, our six years in this institution was surely a roller coaster ride. We stumbled upon the sweet taste of success and the bitterness of failures countless times. But this molded us into the individuals 
that we are today. The victory of every single graduate is a shared success. There are numerous people behind this triumph and today I stand before you to name and acknowledge a few of people who served as our pillars in this arduous journey. To begin with, my heart and eyes are bursting with tears and emotions as I think of my parents who brought me into existence, fostered me, and provided me with a truly out of this world love, care, and support. These two people have lovingly helped in my dexterities and erudition, even during those times when I doubted myself. To my mother, whose love and support are unconditional, your warm words and embrace always propel me to keep moving whenever I get dispirited. To my ama, who is dedicated and good provider, I never felt that you are miles away because you continuously laid out your love and support for me even from afar. A thousand thank you will not be sufficient to express how thankful I am to have both of you as my parents. But I just want the world to know that I am thankful for your existence. Thank you to all the dear parents who never gave up in guiding their children through the hardships they've been. They've been true. Hence, magsukul tuod. Of course, this day will not be possible without our dedicated educators and Dominican sisters. The unforeseen pandemic took heavy toll on education, yet these people run on cunning torch of knowledge within every single child they handle. These people, like a gardener to its plant, nurtured our God-given skills, taught us lessons beyond the corners of schoolroom, cure our ignorance, and provided us love, care, and support comparable to that of our birth parents for six years. Thus, to our former and present advisors, teachers, and our dear Dominican sisters, our sincerest appreciation for your continuously support and efforts in educating us. We are genuinely beholden to you for everything that had done. Thank you very much for a job well done. Our exuberance will not be concretized. Our hardships, sufferings, and sacrifices will not be rewarded. Our persistence, knowledge, and learnings will not be transfused and acknowledged if not for the Supreme Being, God, Allah. Indeed, we are indebted to Him for all the blessings that He continuously showers upon all of us. Let us take a moment of silence to appreciate and glorify Him and His greatness. Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to God or Allah. Finally, to my classmates, friends, and batchmates, 2021, thank you very much for the love, encouragement, friendships, and fun-filled memories. We might have to go on separate ways, but the memories we've made during the past six years will surely stay in our hearts until this life ends. Finally, after all the sleepless nights and the emotional, mental, and physical difficulties, Alhamdulillah, we made a difference. Sure enough, 
a beautiful journey lies ahead of all of us. May we be able to mount greater heights and be catalysts of the changes of the new normal. May we fully embody the ideals of a true Notre Dameian and may we become the present and future of this generation. Congratulations! May we all become successful in the future in God's grace. No words can precisely reflect the magnitude of our gratitude for the people who did not hesitate to share their time, knowledge, support, and love for the past six years. Yet again, thank you very much. Lastly, congratulations, soar high, and keep reaching for the skies. Grade 6 Batch 2021 of the Notre Dame of Alonfer Girls. God be with us all. Wabadu wassalam. For the Pledge of Loyalty, let us have here Sarah Ayesha M. Shama. Pledge of Loyalty. Batchmates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. With the graduates of 2020 to 2021, do hereby solemnly pledge to be ever faithful to God and our alma mater, the Notre Dame of a Law for Girls. We promise to develop ourselves to the fullest and aspire to actualize the gift of life the Creator has given us so that we could be of greater service to God, country, and fellow men. So help us God. Day has truly been noteworthy for everyone. For the graduates, as you go forward, we hope you will be open to new possibilities. When you finish your journey in higher education, find work about which you can be passionate 
truly passionate. You should have a big dreams. You cannot put a large box into a small box, meaning you cannot put a full life in a small dream. You are unique. You are educated and inspiring individuals who have conquered many difficulties to get here today. Indeed, graduation is not the end. It is the beginning. Foremost, let us thank the Almighty for giving us His unending sustenance and blessings. Congratulations, Class of 2020 to 2021! Hardly shared a glance to greet and know each other. And now the time is up, each one is packing up. We'll find another chance to greet and know each other and feel each other's cup.